Hey everyone, Tom and Peter here for GameSpot Breaking News where we want to talk about PlayStation's latest updates, the PlayStation Vita TV and the PlayStation Vita Slim. Tom, I know you got some pretty strong feelings about this. <laughs> it's Vita Day. There's the yeah. new Vita stuff announced, which is very exciting. So we'll get to the first thing, which is the less controversial. There's the Slim model, which is like, it, it has like a gig gigabyte of on-screen memory. They're getting rid of the OLED screen for yes. LCD. But basically, this is a cheaper version with more colors of the Vita that we already know and love. Yeah, it's cheaper, smaller, it's got some internal memory. Yeah. Uh, but, like, I'm not as excited for it as I was... I thought I might be for a new version of the Vita because I love the way it looks right now. The oh, OLED yeah. screen is amazing, like really deep blacks, and that's something you only get from the OLED screen yep. on there. The LCD has a backlight, so that's going to desaturate. Basically, pixels can't turn off, so any black you see is going to have a little light shining through. Uh, yeah. It's so cheaper, I think, though. I think it's like demonstrably, inarguably worse is the display, right? It's, but it's worse, yes. But it's cheaper? Yeah. And it's 20% smaller. So and all it, of a sudden, yeah. those people who have... <laughs> Like small wallets and small hands, like they, they totally have the best portable system <laughs> that they can have. Like it's it's really yeah. good to like strengthen and broaden the market, even if you and I are just going to stick with the original, right? I mean, the only thing I really care about on this new model is the start and select buttons, which are no longer these tiny little recessed ovals. You actually have a big circle to press. But this is the smallest nitpick anyone has ever. It comes in pink. Yeah. Which is a color that you always fashion. <laughs> okay, so that, that one is, I think it's good because it's going to expand the market for portable. Yeah. But they're also going to expand the market for your home with the Vita, which is weird. I think it's pretty cool. So the, the Vita TV is this little device that hooks up to your TV. Uh, it plays Vita games. Yep. And it allows you to do some interesting things with remote play using the PlayStation 4. Uh, and the Vita as well. Yeah. It's, so it's basically just a micro console because it's yeah. cheap and it plays PS1 games, PSP games, and Vita games. Right. Uh, but it's not portable anymore. It's hooked up to your television. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but so, but hey, but I did, are you saying you wouldn't want to play some Vita games on the TV? See that? Like Persona 4 Golden, I to Gravity I totally, Rush. I totally want to. Uh, my wife <laughs> would kill me if I bought another Vita. Uh, so the weird thing, though, is like the compatibility because, yeah, like, okay, yeah. I'm going to bring up a bad game. Little Deviance requires the touch screen. Right. You don't have a touch screen on this sure. thing. So all of a sudden you can't play Little Deviance. And things will change when the PS4 controller is introduced and works with yeah. this. Because you'll have the tilting, you'll have the touching, but it's not its not going to be the same but I, system. I kind of see this as like an augment to someone who already owns a Vita. Oh. Right? Not like a separate purchase for someone who is like considering getting into that ecosystem. Yep. Um, it's only 95 bucks. That's about the cost of two games after tax, if yep. you will. Uh, and unless you sort of have this whole different environment for your Vita games. And it has yep. a standby feature you'd have on a portable, so it's got a lot of the... The features that make the Vita special, which this is mostly are the games, you know? And I don't know, Little Deviants, are you sad that you don't get to play <laughs> Little Deviants? I mean, the no. touchscreen experience on the Vita works for a portable system because we've yeah. come to expect that. But at home, who cares? I yeah, don't. You, don't, you don't really do. And I guess, I mean, the great news for this, uh, it gets the Vita in more people's hands. Yeah. And the thing, like, the what I took from this story, it's not like the new systems. Is that Sony loves the Vita. Yeah. They think it has potential, and they desperately want more people to play it. Because it's, it's an incredible system. But this expands even to the PS4's functionality, though. Yeah. Because uh, you can hook up the uh, PlayStation Vita TV in a separate room from your PlayStation 4 and remote play your games from that separate oh room. My God. Which is something Nintendo's been touting with the Wii U that has sort of worked to marginal success. Yeah. But I think Sony's approaching it from a much smarter direction because it's it's an added value thing, right? It's not it's not just hey we're streaming to the Vita. It's you also have a console that can play games, stream movies, stuff like that. So that's our take on the big Vita announcements today. Um, and as always, if it's Vita, I love it. Peter, not quite as excited about it. Uh, express your displeasure in the comments below or your adoration right here. Until next time.